My husband 32M woke me up 26F at 3 in the morning demanding I explain why I don't buy his snacks. To make a long story short my husband has medical issues that make his diet a little difficult so through trial and error we have found his safe foods, banana and yogurt. He has these medical issues monthly and it has put a huge strain on every part of our life. I have my own issues too. Mainly untreated anxiety and depression but the depression I have felt is more recent. My husband and I have our own share of bullshit between each other, and it feels like we shoot each other in the foot with our untreated anxiety issues. Anyway, when he has these episodes I'm usually on top of it, with his snacks and stuff like that. I have been going through my own issues, some stemming from our relationship and have felt in a rut, just sad really. When I get like this even my own responsibilities get neglected. This past med episode was the worst, scariest one yet as well. My husband, who hasn't been sleeping well lately, woke me up at 3 a.m., demanding to know why I hadn't gotten his snacks. I was so confused obviously? It's 3 a.m.? But I guess it really really bothered him so I tried to explain myself which historically never goes well. It ends in my tears which he hates lately as well. It ended with him forcing me to agree that only he needs to worry about feeding himself. This individual thing has been a theme lately in our marriage and frankly it's fucking scary and I'm alone in bed while he's taking a 4am shower. He doesn't really ask much of me and I feel like I can't do anything right for him. My heart beats really fast when I know he's in this mood and I don't know what's going to happen. It hasn't always been this way so I guess I need guidance on how to navigate him acting this way. This man is making your mental health worse, that's the opposite of a healthy relationship. You are not his mother, you are his partner. He's an adult and should be managing his illness with you, if anything. It's not you managing his illness. He's a big baby and needs to learn to grow up. He's blaming you for his problems. The bare minimum is love, kindness and respect. Not mothering. Ask yourself if you want a partner or a child. Cause this person is a child. He's 32 and can buy his own bloody snacks. Tell him that waking you up for non-emergencies is unacceptable. Why are you with him? He is adult and need to take care of himself. You do know you feel as anxious and depressed as you do because of his behavior, right? He's an adult, he can buy his own snacks. Even if you'd promised to get them, forgot to get them and he was frustrated, he could have had this conversation in the morning. Hell, if he's up showering, he can go to a 24-hour shop for his snacks. Why are you with him? Are you anxiety issues so bad that this is what you stoop to? You may both have health issues, but messing with someone's sleep is bordering on abuse. Especially since he doesn't really listen when you try to explain what's going on. He just wants to shout you down and make you comply according to what you wrote in the post. I, 28F, found my husband's, 28M, grinder account at 2 months postpartum. What do I do? We've been together for 9 years and married for 2. I don't know what to do. We now have a child together that will be 2 months on Tuesday. I'm still on maternity leave for another month. I woke up yesterday morning and went out to the living room to take my shift with our son. Husband left his phone out in the living room and I didn't think it was a big deal so I left it there and figured I'd let him grab it when he woke up from our bedroom the next morning. When I grabbed his phone later, the lock screen said he had notifications from Grindr. I knew he was bi, as far as I know he's only had one sexual encounter with a guy and that was before we were dating over 9 years ago. But that he downloaded Grindr? And was messaging guys? In our marriage where I just had a baby? So I opened his phone and looked. One of the messages I read was from literally that night. He got pictures from some guy. Told the guy he was horny and tipsy. That he wanted to breed him so bad. That he made him so fucking hard. I saw messages from over a year ago where he sent pictures of himself. Just face pictures. I didn't see any nudes sent from him but I don't know if I just didn't see them. It looked like he sporadically went on the app. I found one short conversation with a dude in the middle of the day from just over a week ago when he was at work. Middle of the day. Chatting about his lunch. I remember seeing the date of that message and feeling worse because that was a morning I woke up and just felt horrible. I had a few drinks the night before. Baby was completely safe and had stored milk. I felt so guilty the next morning. I had a panic attack. I tried calling my therapist as soon as they opened. And my husband went on Grindr to message other men. So when I found this, I packed up some of my stuff and my son's stuff and drove to my parents. He tried to get me to stay asking if we could talk. I said I'm not ready. I don't really know what he can say to make this better. He said, it was all just a gay fantasy. But downloading Grindr does not make this a fantasy anymore. He says he's never met with anyone outside of our marriage and I believe that, but I still consider this cheating on me. I'm staying with my parents currently. I mean I'm a teacher in the area. On top of being so hurt and betrayed. I'm scared this could somehow become a rumor, scandal about me. I mean I literally have a co-worker that is gay and single that works right across the hall from me. And I'm two months postpartum. 
dealing with being home alone with a baby just about every day, breastfeeding, trying so hard to feel good about myself and that I'm doing enough as a mom. Then he went and did this to me, or continued doing it and I just finally saw it. I suppose it's worth mentioning that his parents are separated because his dad struggled with a sex addiction. But he is his own person and did this to me himself. He texted me saying he's contacted a therapist in the area and is setting up an appointment. I just don't know what to do from here. I think that once your fantasies are involving and interacting with real people, that's when not telling your partner crosses the line from being reasonably private about your masturbation habits to being unfairly secretive about your extramarital sexual activities. I think that a separation while he gets some therapy and figures out why he's been feeling compelled to do this and makes meaningful amends is the only way this relationship could maybe be repaired, but I think you're well within your rights to not give him that second chance. It wouldn't be any different if he was messaging women. Fantasies stay in your head, by downloading Grinder and messaging people he is acting on it. Oh my, I agree with you wholeheartedly. He escalated this fantasy and I would not be shocked if he's not sharing everything. Who knows how long he's been doing this sort of thing behind your back. 9 years is a long time babes but you know what's longer. 10 years, consider divorce, separate for sure and possibly seek couples therapy where you both bear all. However, don't believe his false promises of seeking therapy for himself. Go together, good luck. He's only sorry because he got caught. If you did not find out, he would have gone ahead to reply those chats. He was not sorry when he set up his account, profile, he was not sorry when he, secretly, scrolled and swiped on matches, he was not sorry when he was chatting with a stranger, instead of you, his wife and his baby mama. He did all of those things actively and consciously before he got caught, and he would have continued to do it, if he was not caught. I'm sorry this happened to you but this says a lot about the kind of person he is and it would be entirely up to you if you'd be able to accept a life partner who can bear hurting and disrespecting you deliberately, or whether you deserve better. I wish you well and all the best to you and baby heart with ribbon. I honestly think it's even worse when guys do this to their postpartum pregnant wives. Some people are at their lowest self-esteem when just having a baby and instead of building you up he went and made fantasies elsewhere. Honestly that's unforgivable to me. Either way you should get tested for STDs just in case he's not telling the whole truth. Even though it doesn't seem like he met up with any grinder guys who knows if he found somewhere else to cheat. I'm so sorry you're dealing with this. You really need to get checked. I know someone who caught HIV from a cheating boyfriend, male and male, it's no joke. I wouldn't trust a word he says. Devastated after looking through my, 30 female, finances, 33 male, search history. How can I move past this? My fiancé, 33M and I, 30F, have been together for nearly three years. He's the most loving, supportive, and compassionate man I've ever met. He always sees the best in people and has been there for me through everything. I love him so much and want to spend my life with him. While visiting my family for a week, he used my laptop for work a few times. A few days ago I opened my laptop and I noticed he hadn't logged out of his Google account. I went to go log him out, but instead, I impulsively started going through his search history. The reason for this goes back to a little over a year ago before we got engaged when we hit a rough patch. I was hit with depression and struggled for months, barely able to get out of bed, working from home, and gaining 30 pounds. During that time, I wasn't as present in our relationship. I pushed him away, criticized him, all because I was projecting from fear that he'd leave me. Still despite that he was very supportive and checked in on me daily. Eventually, I sought help, got on medication, started therapy, and slowly regained my energy. I got back into the gym, lost the weight, and started reconnecting with friends. Our relationship improved as I began to feel like myself again. Things were going well until about 5 months ago when he took me to a potluck his company was having. I had already met most of his colleagues at his company Christmas party back in December. One of those colleagues being a woman in her late 30s, very fit, single, and well dressed. I didn't think anything of it at the time other than they seemed like good work buddies and he enjoyed working with her. But at the potluck, he was acting very tense and tried to avoid her. Afterwards of course I asked what that was about, and he hesitantly confessed that during our rough patch, he had developed feelings for her and had lunch with her a few times. He assured me nothing happened and that once he realized what he was doing, he distanced himself and focused on our relationship and being a better partner. That revelation hurt deeply, especially during the time when I already felt insecure about my body and feared he'd leave me. Having been cheated on before, my mind went to the worst case scenario. He felt guilty and gave me access to his phone, computer, and work chats to prove nothing else had happened. After some time, we worked through it, and things between us felt stable again. But I couldn't stop overthinking. I kept wondering if there was more to the story.
I tried to trust him, but old wounds and paranoia crept in. This man googles everything because he overthinks everything, so when I saw an opportunity to check his search history, I did. I flightered back to that time period when we had that rough patch, hoping to find something that would either confirm or dispel my doubts. His searches from that time were things like, how to stop having feelings for someone, is it cheating to have a crush while in a relationship, how to stay faithful to my girlfriend, and how to distance yourself from a coworker. These were searches he made through the course of five weeks. There were no signs he cheated or wanted to be with her. His searches showed he was actively trying to fight those feelings. I was relieved and felt bad for doubting him. But then I found searches that crushed me. My girlfriend got fat and I'm not attracted to her. I love my girlfriend but I find her ugly. GF doesn't take care of herself. Want to leave my girlfriend because she's fat and ugly. And my GF's body grosses me out. These were sprinkled throughout the time I was struggling, about 10 of those searches. Some within the same day after we hung out, and some of them were on days he was with me. He visited lots of Reddit pages where men talked about how they found their wives ugly after they gained weight. I also found that he didn't like my cat at the time because she meows too much and won't leave him alone. I don't believe that I was ugly even after that weight gain. I'm very feminine, I still wore makeup and wore nice outfits whenever I could get myself to go out. Despite being heavier I still put effort into upkeeping my appearance. None of this seems to reflect how he feels about me now. He can't keep his hands off me, he constantly tells me how gorgeous I am, and our sex life is amazing. He also plays with my cat all the time now. He's more affectionate with me and my cat now more than ever, and he makes me feel loved every day. He even got into therapy himself to address his sever anxiety and self-esteem issues. But I can't look at him the same way now. Knowing what he thought of me during my most vulnerable time has shattered something inside me. He thought I was fat and ugly when I trusted him to see past my weight gain and when he would say he finds me beautiful. What really stings is that he's not exactly the most handsome man in the world and is certainly not in the best shape. He's gained weight throughout our relationship and his hygiene is subpar. He'll wear the same underwear for two days in a row, smells sometimes and brushes his teeth maybe once a day. But I never once fucking judged him for that or thought of him as any less attractive. Sure I would have intrusive thoughts about that stuff from time to time, but I easily dismissed them because I love him and he's incredibly handsome to me with a beautiful heart. Now, I can't stop wondering. What happens when I inevitably gain weight again, whether from pregnancy or aging? Will he see me as fat and ugly again? Will he have eyes for another woman again? Will he have the strength to push those feelings away and distance himself next time? I don't know how to process this. I'm talking to my therapist about it, but I can't let go of the fact that during my lowest point, he saw me in such an awful light. I don't want to break up with him. I love him so much, and he treats me like a queen. I also can't talk to him about this. If he knew I saw those searches, as well as some very personal ones regarding his own struggles, he'd be mortified, and he might even end things between us. I would have never known about this if I hadn't invaded his privacy like that. And I'm deeply ashamed of doing it. But I'm also kind of glad I did because even though he saw me in that light, he proved to be a faithful man and prioritized me. In a way I feel very lucky, but I'm hurt and worried that he will still see me that way at times throughout our relationship. I'm self-conscious around him now and no longer let him see me naked. How can I move past this and feel safe with him again? Too long did not read. Paranoid after fiancé confessed to liking co-worker during a rough patch. Went through his search history from that time and saw that he found me fat and ugly. I feel like these were his internal thoughts he was trying to work out. His internal thoughts were incredibly unkind but his behavior while having those thoughts was not. You said he checked in on you and even though you were pushing him away he remained there steadfast and loving. That means a lot. We all have rude thoughts, learning to not voice them or act on them is the part that takes effort. My dad always told us that love is an action word. You can say you love someone a thousand times, but if your actions don't reflect that, do you really love that person? Your fiancé had some awful, shallow thoughts, but his actions showed that he loved you deeply. Please don't let internet searches that he never acted on fester and destroy the confidence you had in your relationship. I think the real issue here is his underwear. Girl if he smells you need to tell him. You went snooping in his digital diary, found the grenade, and now you're standing there holding it, wondering if it'll explode your relationship. Everyone has intrusive thoughts, some are just messier than others. The guy didn't act on them, didn't pack up and run off with the coworker, didn't cheat. He stayed, went to therapy, and now he's treating you like royalty. That's not nothing. Now, let's get real, if you let this stew in your brain, it'll eat you alive. Can you let it go? Or are you going to let it fester like moldy cheese in the fridge? Your move. Why is no one focusing on the fact this guy doesn't change his underwear or brush his teeth? 
So, your boyfriend has supported you wonderfully even through a period where you treated him appallingly, mental illness is not an excuse to treat others badly. Then you broke his trust by invading his privacy and you're wondering how you move past things. Some self-reflection might be in order. You feel lucky he did the bare minimum of not cheating on you? Me 38M doubting my wife's 35F comments, how should we proceed with her lying? My wife and seven of her friends are on a girl's trip to Ibiza for five days. They are all between 34 39 so I'd say all of them are good looking. One is single the rest are all married. My good friend Jesse married to Georgia who is in the girl strip. Made a shared iCloud picture album for the whole group. Jesse found out when he saw a message on his son's iPad. Obviously he took a look and saw each and every picture that the girls shared in the album. Yesterday, second day of the trip, the girls went to the beach. I spoke to my wife and she told me they were having fun. I asked her about guys giving them attention. She told me nothing of that kind happened they were minding their own business. And having fun with just the girls. Not that I worried about it but was curious either way. This morning me and Jesse met for breakfast with the kids. And while the kids were playing he showed me the pictures and videos the girls had made. Tons of guys partying with them and two videos of them after they ordered a champagne boat. 4.500 euros. They were straight up ballers all young and good looking. The girls were mixed up with them all. I saw a video of where my wife pressed her boobs together while a guy poured champagne all over her. She was laughing smiling and very touchy obviously to me also very drunk. And I know what can happen with her once she is in that state. It hurts me that she straight up lied to me and don't know what to do about it. I wouldn't mind hearing it from herself because she knows I can handle that just fine, but that she lied tells me that something is up. How do we proceed from here? I have a general rule, never do anything I wouldn't feel fine telling my partner about. I'd be anxious as soon as I caught the first lie. Seriously? You don't have a problem with the photo of a young hot guy pouring champagne between her tits? If that was filmed, I guarantee more happened that wasn't. Your problem is she lied and said there was no flirting from other men? Okie dokie. I'd have a huge problem with my spouse behaving like this. But, you do you. Going to be an expensive trip, costing her marriage, family, and half her possessions. I agree with the STD and pregnancy test. Now you know her true nature, what else has she been up to? While she is gone you can move her stuff to her parents' house pending the divorce. Edit. I would like to be there when she explains her actions to her mom and dad. Dear mom and dad, I went on holiday and had drunken sex with random strangers so now I'm getting a divorce and I need a place to stay. Can you help me? Save the pictures. See it all the time, girls, or guys, trip is a free pass to cheat. It's crazy how so many times people throw it all away for a weekend of fun. Save the video you saw. Have a conversation when you she gets home. The cruel reality here is you'll never know the truth and that's a shitty place to be in a relationship. So sorry this is happening to you. She's cheating on you. AI generated story?